Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing The Nightmare by Titan Bags. Let's go ahead and jump in, and design-wise, this is a standard Titan design, right? Yeah, they have the, the they have an image, it goes all their bags, the model here, the back has the Titan logo. I actually don't mind it. Titan's bags are very identifiable. You, you see them, you really know it's a Titan bag. Because of the image and the name, you can quickly identify what model it is. I'm okay with it, as opposed to like, so like, like the Reynolds has that basic design for all their bags. The difference here is... They actually make the models identifiable. Like a Reynolds bag, it looks identical. It just has the models for it now small. This, they actually change the, the image and they put the, the name on there. So you can identify bag. I see this bag being thrown several quarts away. I can figure out what it is pretty easily. And so I like that. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with the design. They have several different colorway options for these bags. Typically, they have several of them in stock. I can't, I don't, I can't remember how many different color options they had for this Nightmare bag when I looked. But it was it's usually three to five different color options, I think, on most of your bags. These are ACL Pro Stamp for 2023 for those of you who play in ACL events. Material-wise, we'll start with this slow side. This is that that felt-like material. I feel like this material used to be more popular. Like two or three years ago, this was really popular, and it's gotten less and less popular. I think something has to do with the with the Surefire popularity and that Surefire material coming out. That that it, it's very similar the playability and everything as that Surefire material, and more people tend to prefer that. So I think it's kind of what's push this away but it's the same uh material you find on i know the slow side of the noah swamp water is the same i believe it's been a while since from the swamp water i'm pretty sure it uses the same material on the slow side uh majestics has a bag called the diamonds which uses this on the slow side galaxy cornhole i think it's the death star i can't i, I was trying to write my brain i i, I had a set I, i've since got rid of them i think it's the death star that you also use this material on there so there's bags out there using that i can't i'm trying to think of regular brands some older bags that use them i can't come across them right now but uh, it's a they, Titan calls it a four speed. To me, it plays more like a five. So you're looking at four to five speed range for the slow side here. It's a very soft feeling. It, it's a wonderful feeling material if you haven't felt it. Feels really nice in the hands. Fast side. This is that game changer fast side. Uh, you know, it's eight speed, kind of a fast eight, maybe an eight and a half on it. it, it it's fast, but somewhat controllable. Pushes through anything. Plays any board condition. So you're looking at a four to five on the slow, eight on the fast. Template wise, this is that. Standard, really, I think it's a pretty much a standard Titan too. It's kind of that medium, medium to small template, right? You know, it's just, it's just, it's not quite that six by six. It's just out here under that on the size. Uh, it's got a, you know, it's got a medium amount of fill. So you've got flop here. You've got some flop, but it's not crazy floppy. You know, there's, there's a decent, there's enough fill in here. When you go to grab it, you can really grab a hold of it and, and get a good grip on it. Cause there's enough fill uh, in there. This bag is, I think it's a mixed fill. It's it's mostly it, it's mostly a small disc fill. There's some small beads mixed in there as well, but it's it really has that kind of that really smooth fluid feel that you get of a disc fill bag. So you get that wonderful hand feel on it. Playability on this now. This is a bag to me that's more of a control style bag because of the slow side material. It's pretty sticky. Um, even though I call it a five, it does kind of it wants it wants it does a better job of playing a blocking style game than it does a whole for whole game. And the reason I said it is. This this slow side shares a lot of the characteristics of the surefire material, especially on the negative side, right? The, the the big issues with this is humidity. This material doesn't play that well in humidity. It, it does kind of stick. When boards are getting damp, that moisture really causes this material to stick up a little bit. Uh, this material will kick on you if you have a flat back, so it's going to kick. It, it, it's a, Again, I've talked about it's a controllable kick, so if you're consistent with your tilt, whichever way you're throwing it, you can play the kick, you can aim, and it'll cut, it'll kick, cut the same way every time. The other issue is this slow side has a tendency to want to hang on the hole. It's not as hole friendly as some faster materials are, so I, I had some issues with that during my throwing bags hanging. They're, they're pretty collectible, so if I had a bag hanging on the side or front, I could collect it out of the bag. My issue was a lot of times on the fourth bag, the bag of comp, it just catch the hole and set there, or it have a bag comp there, and go on catch you know i was a little off left or right it would catch that little spin around and then just sit and once it's on the back it was really difficult to collect like just throwing bags in the hole wasn't gonna bring it in i had to try something aggressive with their ear mail drag or something to bring it in so this material will hang on the hole the fill is not is not as hole friendly as i as i would like some mixed fills to be so you're gonna get some you're gonna get some hang on the hole with this but you know when you're playing a slower material like this you're going to expect that, right? To me, the whole front, the, typically the faster material is the more whole friendly it is. So like this fast side, sure, it's whole friendly, but it's a faster material. When you start getting a control material, the reason it's a control type material is because it sticks and grabs, it holds onto those boards. That's what causes it to play slower. Well, when you want a bag to drip in the hole, you don't want it sticking. So you got a trade off there, right? In, in the fact that the more controllable the material is, typically the less hole friendly it's going to be. Now you can add, you can change the fill, you can do different things to improve the hole friendliness of these bags. But in the end, you know, that material probably plays the most 
in, in, in the terminal from this because it's what's in direct contact with the board. So it's not a bad, like, and, and, and I don't want to say this bag is not whole front. Like you throw the bag with enough speed, it's going to grab, it'll spin around, it'll melt. And I had that happening. Like I said, bags, had, they, they get up there and hang on the side. You throw the next bag, you can you can just clip it. So go in. The bags are full enough that you don't have to get crazy aggressive with your collects. They're not going to cordon up like a floppier bag. So you got a blocker sitting up there. You can just throw your bag right in the middle, catch that corner, spin it, and you can take them in. Now I probably so the biggest issue I had was in my last bag. I would throw and I would I would, I would leave it just a touch short. And 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 look, that's as much I'm using on the bag. You know, it, if I'm throwing the bags perfectly, they're going in the hole. So anyway. But all in all, I, you know, the playability of this, I do like the control of this. You can cut this material. This is probably a bag that, you, you know, this is a bag that can be rolled and flopped, but you need to be a little bit better than average. Like the average player is not going to roll or flop this bag. But if you are a rollback player, you can definitely roll, flop this bag. You can cut this bag, this material, like I said, because it, it, it has a kick. It also means it has a cut. And you can cut this. You can control it left to right, right to left, however you want to do it. So it is, you can shape shots with this bag. You can play it. I guess the question comes down to is... You know what, like I reviewed the Venom not too long ago. The Venom has the same fast side. It has that surefire slow side on it. And and, and really the difference, the, the, the bags play, like this plays a lot like the Venom. I think the difference, this is just, is just player preference. If you like the feel and play of this pure over that surefire, um, and, and it's more just, you know, I don't think there's a big playability difference between this. Like this Nightmare and the, sure, and the, and the Venom are pretty much the same bag when it comes to playability and everything. It's just a matter of player preference on the feel of that slow side material. Again, this material feels really soft, feels great in the hand. You're gonna like it when you hold it. It's just, you, you get that wonderful soft hand feel. So all in all, it's, it's a solid bag. It's a good bag. I, you know, if I went to a blind draw and you pull these bags out, I'm fine. I'm happy throwing these. I have no issues because it, it fits my game. I can, I can play a dirty style game with it. I can I can shape shots. I can do what I want to do with this. I have no issues with it. If I had a preference, I would probably choose the Venom over this. Um, just because I'm more familiar with that Surefire material, I've played it more than I have this. It just, it's just, I have more comfort level, more confidence with that material with this. But all in all, it's not a bad bag. Um, and, and yeah, if you like that Surefire material, you like those Surefire style get bags, you like the Venom, and maybe you want a different bag just to tweak these a little bit, get some nightmares. Try them out. You might like them better. So it leads me to availability on these bags. The Titan does a wonderful job of keeping bags in stock. They pretty much have bags in stock all the time. Sometimes certain colorways sell out or certain special designs sell out. But uh, these Nightmares are always in stock for them. And you have a few different colorway options. Titan has a website, uh, titancornholebags.com. I hope that's right. I'll put it in the description to make sure I got that correct. Uh, bags are $79.99 for a set of four of them. And then you pay like, it's like 10 bucks in shipping on there. So, you know, you're 80 plus to 10, you get 90 bucks shipped to you. They do have some discount codes out there. Uh, if you follow, go follow their their, their uh, ACL Pros, Titan has some ACL Pros. Go follow the pros on social media. You get some discount codes you can use to save, to save a little bit of money. Titan also runs sales all the time for free shipping or discounts, or whatever. Make sure you follow them on their social media accounts and they'll, you know, announce when they have a discount code or some kind of sale going on. So Titan does a wonderful job with, with keeping back stocks, making bag, bags available and making them pretty reasonable price. So I'm a fan of Titan. Um, I would recommend if you, like I said, if you like the Surefire type bag, check the Nightmares. You might like them as well. I thank you guys so much for support and I thank you for watching.